Yo, what it do? It's your boy Sidney Tarver from NFL to Amazon Logistics, DSP. We got my guy David out here. We putting these tags on his van today. This is the services that you don't hear. License and registration fee. Just like y'all going to the DMV, we got to keep these vans going to the DMV, getting service, getting checked. I got my guy David, we putting on license plate. Well, we got about 14, seven new vans or something we got to put them on. So that's what we out here doing. Yeah, front and back, keeping our vans in check. You want to keep your stuff together. When you ride with commercial vans, you need everything to be in check. License plate, registration, all this kind of stuff. That one don't got a sticker, but you need all your paperwork right. Because if your drivers get pulled over, they still got to do whatever the, re the regular driver license check, emissions check. You got to have everything checked off. We got to change that though. That's in New Jersey, but you see what I'm saying? We in the process of doing all that right now. It's just day-to-day -day boring stuff. The stuff that everybody thinks boring is the stuff you got to do good over every, every day, over and over in business. The stuff that everybody hates doing, the basics, which is true in everything in life, you got to do over and over again. Football practice, basketball practice, soccer practice. You practice the boring stuff over and over and over again until you get good at it. You feel me? That's how you get it. But yeah, we just putting all the licenses and the registrations on there, keeping our vans legal, street legal to get on the road and make it happen. You got to, when you got a fleet like this, you got to keep stuff going left and right all day, every day. Okay. Not, not cutting no corners, man. That's in life in general though, man. Practice, weight room, life, business. Not cutting no corners is the most important thing. I know people who always want to cut corners and get over on something like, that's not how the world, you don't get rewarded for taking the shortcut in the easy way. I've never got rewarded. Every time I took a shortcut or what I thought was a shortcut, it ended up adding more work onto what I had instead of just doing it right the first time. So you want to measure twice, cut once or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to rush through the process, have all your paperwork right, have all your registrations right, have all your driver background tests, your drug tests, do everything in life right or to the best of your ability. Because taking a shortcut, taking the fast way is not going to do nothing but cause you more pain in the long run. Yeah, I know it sounds like I'm preaching sounding like your dad, but it's, it's, it's sound cliche, but it's literally true. It's the laws of the world, the universe, how it works. Like, yeah, I mean, I always cut corners, lifting weight. Like if I didn't lift weights hard enough in college, I got hurt or I pulled a hamstring or I do something. So like cutting corners, uh, just trusting people's word, believing what they said instead of verifying, stuff like that. It happened. You got to really check on stuff, follow up with people, keep doing stuff, check your receipts from the dealership. Like, yeah, you can lose money easily if you don't pay attention to all the things that you need to pay attention to. If you don't do it, you'll learn. You learn the lesson in business. It'll teach you. Life is the great teacher. It keeps throwing you the same test over and over in a different way till you pass it. If you out of trouble talking to girls, the universe gonna keep throwing pretty girls in your face until you turn them down. If you got a problem with eating, the world gonna keep bringing you cheeseburgers and all the best food until you decide on your own that I, don't, I wanna change my life and stop being a bum. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, three and a half years. We still getting them dropped off. It took three and a half years. I started with five, then they got me 10, then I got 15, then I got 20, and I just kept building. My hand's so cold, I don't even know what's going on. That's what I'm telling you, you can't make none of these videos or these scripts up. Is he following the bird? But yeah, helicopter in the city, man. I don't know what's going on. That's crazy. They've been doing VSAs though, okay. uh, when they ground our trucks. Yeah, I've been seeing them out here. I've been seeing niches out there locally. It's, it's annoying. VSA is like a, uh, an inspection done by Amazon. Yeah. So like, that's why we gotta keep our like, vans yeah. in check because Amazon will come out and audit them and oh, audit right. ourselves. Yup, yup. What'd you say? Um, Stephanie told me we have no flex routes today, but there's a couple cube outs. If we have any cube outs, I can give them to David or not. I don't know if that's what you want to do. That's fine as long as it's not spread out. If it's spread out, we need more money from Amazon. Yeah, I, in my opinion, I think we're, it's basically going to be the same thing what it is now. It, there's really not much change unless Amazon puts us somewhere else. You know, like IHFL left, I told Mitch we better not see no downtowns. Yeah. Like, that's not what we signed for. That's especially not what he signed up for. Like, I read everything. So it, it says all the areas we're in, none of them say downtown. I'm not going to accept the downtown route <laughs> unless you're going to pay for an extra. Because extras don't get paid. The Sydney pays for extras out of pocket. So if you give us downtown routes, you got to pay us another block. So that way that extra can focus his time so mainly on that person in downtown. You know, like you got to make it make sense. That's what FedEx does. UPS does it. <clears throat> from, from what I was told, it says that they can do cap around like 150, almost 200,000 packages, maybe even more. That's what I was told. I mean, it can hold that much. 
but I, I don't think we'll ever see a if we do that's like Sydney running 80 routes everybody would damn near run 80 routes over here just to even cap at like something crazy 150 200k is that Egypt right there are these the pyramids over here I need to get a BM can I trade this for a BMX bike to come over here though where my skateboard is at? Somebody gonna teach me how to do an ollie? I don't even know how to break. 20 minutes a day, keep the doctor away. Some kind of physical activity. You just seen us dispatching trucks. We out here playing. This heavy, I'm breathing hard. I ain't riding none of that shit. This ain't no prank video, my boy. <laughs> I'm purely workout and exercise. Are you doing the Insta360 spin shot? All right, I'm gonna ride. I can't ride over that one. It's so hard to ride this shit. Hey, free bike giveaway, man. Who want this bike, man? DM me in the comments, the first person. First person to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm giving this bike away, man. Let me get up off this bitch. Let's get it. 43K on crypto. This ain't no financial advice. But it went up though. You put a lot of money in the crypto? Just dollar cost average. About a couple dollars every month? <laughs> thousand, about a thousand a month. Just invest into that 500 in the stock market. Let's check my stock. Like, just in case, like you believe in crypto? Like you think it's gonna yeah. be a lifetime then? It's got some, it's got some uh, use. Put my other phone up. I got them hits on. Two-factor authentication though, so you don't get scammed. That's how you stay safe out here. They don't know nothing about that though. Everybody always wonder why their accounts getting hacked because they on two-factor authenticate. Yeah, I got 15, 15K in assets right there. Is this is E-Trade, e just averaging. So this is Ethereum too? No, this is just stocks, S&P 500. Dollar cost, regular Dave Ramsey advice invested. So these are just your phone apps, but you got other ones too? Yeah. These are just my like my play accounts that I'm playing with myself, not my financial advisor accounts, not uh, my four. I remember like account. maybe a year and a half ago, we had five guys and you showed me you were at like nine K in Ethereum. Now you're, yeah. now you're at forty K. But that's just I haven't put that much in. I just put a thousand a month and if the market goes up, it goes up. If it goes down, it goes down. But I don't ever take a big hit because I put the same amount. I'm not trying to put like thirty K one day, take it out, I'm just sitting in it and forgetting about it. You know what I'm saying? It's real proof, man. Right? I know how to buy crypto, I know how to do everything, I know how to buy stocks, I know how to buy cryptos, I know how to buy vans, I know how to buy land, I know how to buy houses. I'm a real investor, a real entrepreneur. If, um, you know how sometimes it jumps for you? If that, if you're gonna jump to like if it double up. 10K coin, would you cash out real quick? No, I'll probably just take out my initial money and keep it, you know. It's the life, man. Day in the life, the mystic. His name, Mystic. His new name, Mystic Amato. We're about to change that. Uh, day in the life, I'm feeling my mushroom syrup they put in there. Yeah, we just here, health as well, if you know what it is. Regular investing, I'm an entrepreneur. See, y'all think I'm just uh, obsessed with trucks, but I really know how to do a lot of shit. It's just life. I played in the NFL, I worked in corporate America, I had stocks, I had financial advisors. I tell y'all, I just look like this, you know what I mean? So, that's what we own. Just grinding, smoothies, chilling, chopping it up, kicking game. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, check out other videos like this. Stop being scared. Get out, go do something, go walk. Call that person you miss. Tell your mom and dad you love them, and we go. Yeah, we're at Vape Flick, man. Best shop in Buffalo. Hi, those we just put them up. I don't even know how to snowboard. That's <laughs> <laughs> lit, man. How long you been owning this? Uh, we've been here seven years now. We in a random day, but this is the guy that go to our gym. This is dad and his brother shop was just here. Business ownership, family business. One of the best boxers, Mo. We in his dad's store, checking it out, hanging out, man, shooting content. His brother was just over there at the smoke shop. Family business, what it's all about. If you're not doing business with your family, you're doing it wrong. Protect the family name always. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> nah, for sure. Good to see you, man. How are you, brother? Good. We coming to eat, get a sandwich. I'm just checking you out, though. What's your habit, brother? Uh, well, he told me to get it. Zach told me to get a steak, uh, egg, and cheese. You. you want one? Two of them. Appreciate you. <laughs> Got the neighborhood sold up. Real boss man, man, back there. Shout out Mo and his family, man, taking care of us. Yeah, he, he got it like a grocery store. That's why you gotta own your own real estate and business type stuff. You ever man. want a corner shop like this? I would. People need like, this is like, okay, let's say wholesale, Sam's and Walmart. Like, if you buy the whole pack, box of these, it probably costs what, maybe $10 for a 10 pack, $12. Then you sell it one by one, break it down. You make so much money. You make so much money by buying in bulk, breaking it down, selling one by one for every one of these. Like this pack of yogurt, probably six. You know how it goes, five dollars, six dollars, and then the pasta, we can we don't even gotta go to Louis. <laughs> in there in the neighborhood. They like this. It's so lit. Oh, there goes little brother. Is that his other brother? <laughs> what it do? <laughs> What's up? We on YouTube, we getting this both stores. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Hell, your dad, he came out and hooked us up, man. We finna get it in. Yeah, right what you up to? You gotta go to work today? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna edit that out. He gonna edit that out. That boy lit. What you doing, man? Can we get the discount on the Tesla, man? How much I can get a Tesla, man? That's why I, my new station out of Hamburg with my trucks. I be go, we be in Hamburg every morning. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. How far? We were like right by the Ford plant. Yeah, that's where my truck's at, right? The Amazon, FedEx, all that shit over there. You're by that soccer field, right? Oh, yeah, what, how far is that from us? You lit. What you up to, though? Gotta pick up my pops at 12. You about to take him home? Yeah, and then, you know, it's Friday today, so it's-, it's You outside? Out. You gotta go pray at the mosque today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up. You going outside today? Nah, chilling. I've been laying low and yeah. grinding. That's right. That's what you know we've been talking like? about. That's what your brother said. He just worked like 11 <laughs> days straight, been grinding. So yeah, for real. That's what we've been on, the camera grinding, trucks. Hilarious. After that holiday, man, you know how it is. For real. I fuck with this, though. Y'all lit, though. You guys on break or something right now? Yeah, we just pulled up. We called Mo. He was in school. He was like, what's your daddy shop? He pulled up. <laughs> he told us to pull up yesterday, but we just we was at the gym. Come to the gym tomorrow. He's sparring, I think, tomorrow. He sparring that pro. He sparred a pro last week. Alex? Yeah. yeah. I think they sparring again tomorrow. He been getting good work in, getting back focused. You know how everybody got to tighten up and get back on their grind, man. Yeah, no, That's my dog, though. That's his Mo. Mo got to, you know, stay on his grind. He got to beat these real niggas up. For sure. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Right, Want us to pay right here? Oh, you're not paying. We good? Right, Thank you, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> we be back. Thank you. House and you gonna pay. That's right. Appreciate <laughs> you. All right, hit us up, man. We see you at the gym. Come tomorrow to the gym. That's right. It's Big Al's, man. When you plugged in, come to Big Al if you in Buffalo. Come shop with them. Get some sandwiches. Get some shirts. Get some merch. Get everything you need to do. Oh, it's a different world out here, but let's get the sign. Come to Big Al's, man. Eat support. Shout out to Mo. Shout out to his dad, man. Everybody, we getting it in. It's just what it is. Big Al. And Smoke Link. All my smokers, if you smoke, go to Smoke Link. Get you some supplies. We in Buffalo, man. Hanging out with the family. Family business. You know how I go, man. Forever thankful. Forever grateful. And we gone. If you Sydney pulled up again. Come on, man. Hey. This so good. Hey. I got to come now, man. I'm a believer, I man. I'll put that shit on a for sure. for your ass. For bro. sure. Appreciate that, man. Big motherfucker like this. Like that. <laughs> nah, this is perfect, <laughs> man. Appreciate that. All right, man. We got you, bro. For sure. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Mo been in the gym. He focused back, too. He good. Yeah, he whooping ass. Not even scripted. You can't script this stuff we doing, man. Call to action. My call to action. Come to Al's Corner Store and support my people, man. Come to Smoke Link. Support my people.